and uh, I've been uh, trying to collect uh, local stories or fairy tales and so on regarding Belakraina. I have already heard of Peter Klepets and Zeleni Yuri and uh, the name of the origin of the town of Chernomel as well. Do you know some special stories regarding Golpa or fairy tales, tales or? Uh, yes, they, uh, they, uh, we can read in some old books that uh, here were quite, uh, quite often uh, uh, seen uh, uh, Vilinska Vitya, Vile, I don't know um, how to say it, but uh, women creatures are nice creatures. Villa Kolpianka, did you hear about Villa Kolpianka? I had never heard of it. Yes, they said that uh, those uh, uh, creatures would be really beautiful, but uh, didn't like people very much. They would, uh, if some uh, men would see them, they would punish him if he would tell somebody or would like to hurt them. Uh, but they would live in Kolpa, so uh, they were called Villa Kolpianke, so you should read the stories about. But also here is one uh, story about uh, Maria Magdalena. Uh, we have now the church of Maria Magdalena in Velika Prishivica. It's a hill just here in our neighborhood. Uh, it were, they, they say that first, when she came here, she would have uh, her chapel in um, Lipovice, yes, in a, uh, now this is forest, but uh, centuries ago it was clean with grass because uh, all around were sheep and cows. Uh, but because um, the, uh, because uh, it was quite uh, away from the village, there would, uh, they say Turks, but I have read in another book that were not Turks, but were uh, Haiduks, that who that would park their horses in her chapel. So it would uh, use uh, they would uh, use her chapel, so Magdalena's chapel, for the stable for their horses, and she was so sad and so disappointed that that just went away from Lipovice and people would uh, like her, she was a really nice person, Maria Magdalena, and would make for her another chapel, a small church on the top of the hill Velika Prishivica. And this is a uh, bike, so a sh short story. And this church was seen from Chernobyl and all around 20 years ago, but now church is still there but the trees are so high that you cannot see the church from the from Chernomel or from Mirnagora or from Strajny Vrch because of the trees. Trees are so high now and maybe Maria Magdalena would cry again, would like to have another place or would just like that somebody cuts the tree and that is again plain and with view for surrounding to Karlovac, to Metlika, to Croatia. Mm -hmm. Okay, Zelena Yuri, this is quite uh, quite uh, quite known, uh, very known here in Adlišići. Zelena Yuri and Kresnice. It is uh, uh, two, uh, those are two um, really important um, things in a calendar in Adishichi. So Zeleni Yuri, it means Green George, is on the 23rd of April and Kresovanie, Kres, is on 24th of June. And here is kind of tradition that on Zeleni Yuri uh, young uh, children, young people, children gather they, they uh, make zeleni yuri from the leaves of a, a white birch and they sing the song of zeleni yuri uh, from the house to house and uh, every, uh, every um, house would give them some gifts 
nowadays it's more more or less money but before it was eggs bread some meat or something so they would collect quite lots of food maybe some money and would then have some celebration but the meaning of green george is that they bring uh, happiness uh, good um, good year for for the for the farm and um, people would wait for the zelen yuri so they would like them to come and also the similar thing is for Chris Kresovani in June then just girls go around from house to house every house make them kolo from Ivania uh, flowers Ivania Roze and uh, girls would go into this circle and would sing from the circle uh, the very known song Bog dai bog dai dober večer dai nam bože dobro leto It means, oh God, give us a good evening, please, give us a really good year. And they would sing for the good year that uh, in autumn they would really find some good um, things from the, from the ground. Potatoes, um, vineyards, everything that should really uh, good, um, make good production. Mm -hmm. And I've heard about uh, uh, Zeleny uh, Yuri, I mean Green George, and about Dragon that uh, yeah. Saint George was uh, riding and he was uh, uh, holding on, the, the, on his shoulder birch trees and birch white uh, trees and so on what is the story because it it is connected with white then birch is uh, the first tree that makes green leaves and this is a, sound, a kind of announcement uh, announcement of the spring so the green george announces that now winter will go away uh, because he sings Prošel je, prošel, pisani vuzem Došel je, došel, zeleni jure Donesel je, donesel, piden dugu travicu Lakat dugu mladicu Dajte mu, dajte, jurja darovajte and so on. It's a quite mm. long story. And in the first part, it's saying, Prošel je, prošel pisani vuzem. It means, Easter went away. Prošel je, prošel pisani vuzem. So, uh, um, colorful Easter went away. Došel je, došel zeleni juri. And now, Green George came. Donesel je, donesel. So he brought, like this, long grass and like this long branch yes so green george came and brought like this long grass and like this long branches on a birch and uh, those uh, children would get dressed in those branches of birch and uh, when they would sing it they would also ask for the gifts but they would give them the branch of this green, this green branch of the birch, and would uh, would uh, would uh, put it here. So, but in front of the house, they would just uh, would uh, put it on the uh, front door, and uh, it's the best if uh, it stays there till another green George is coming. So one year. Voilà les pas, uh, interview. Prosim.